Good day, everyone, and welcome to St. Anthony Catholic Church. It is Tuesday, the fifth day within the octave of the Nativity of the Lord. It is also the memorial of St. Thomas Becket, Bishop and Martyr. Today's Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Jack Gil Hoover. St. Thomas Becket, Bishop, Martyr. Some of us are familiar with Thomas, St. Thomas Becket, 1118 to 1170, through the film Becket and the play Murder in the Cathedral by T.S. Eliot. Although dramatic, these portraits are incomplete. Thomas was Archdeacon of Canterbury. He was evidently a capable lawyer and a trusted emissary of Archbishop Theobald of Canterbury when at age 36 he met Henry of Anjou and supported his claim to the English throne. Henry respected his intelligence and made him chancellor of the kingdom, and his life became one of luxury and magnificence. At the death of Theobald, Henry had Thomas nominated and elected archbishop in 1162. Thomas had given warning to Henry that he would not tolerate interference with the rights of the church prior to his acceptance of the archbishopric. Once consecrated, Thomas reformed his way of life from luxury to austerity, from an obstinate, rebellious spirit to the life of prayer and discipline. Thomas expected difficulties with the king, and they soon followed. Henry understood that his friend, now Archbishop, would continue to serve him on the condition that the honor due to God and to the Church of Rome were safeguarded. Thomas remained strong in upholding the rights of the Church and ultimately gave his life for the cause of justice. Willing to renounce for Christ the place he had attained in this world. St. Thomas Becket was martyred on December 29, 1170, at the altar in his cathedral, as a witness to the authority of the Church. St. Thomas Becket is a model for priests and pastors, especially who must resist temptations similar to those he resisted. They too experience daily conflict between political expediency on the one hand and the duty which the leaders of God's people must, must witness and carry out on the other. This struggle continues from St. Thomas' time to ours. There will always be a need for champions of faith and Christian steadfastness. St. Thomas Becket chose God and became a priest. And a saint. There is a lesson and a hope for all of us in his example. Thomas was declared a saint in 1173, three years after his death.
For these have let us ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are truly the light of the world. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to conversion. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are truly the word of life. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, to disperse the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with some reap countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you have from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let, Let the heavens, heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let, Let the heavens, heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy 
Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be con consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of a total dose or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was a righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen Christ the Lord. He came in the Spirit in the temple and, where, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the customs of the law in regard to him, he took him in his, into his arms and blessed God saying, Lord, now let your servants go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise How many of you like to walk in the dark not too, many. not too many i hope not why not danger that's right well for tim phil is a different story but for most of us walking in the, the darkness is scary it's dangerous i don't know if you ever had an experience where your your lights in your car you're driving and all of a sudden it goes out or you know, it's a scary experience because you don't know where you're going. Yeah. And yet in today's reading, we hear a man let not walk in the darkness. What does it mean to walk in the darkness? Uh, to be without God. Be without to be without God, but to also live in sin. To live in sin means that one who hates his brother and says he loves God. Could that is that possible? It is impossible. We have to, we all have a choice. And you know, ultimately in our life, oftentimes it's not un uncommon for us to let our sin hamper us from seeing God. In today's gospel, we hear Simeon. He was he won all his life to see God before he died. The incarnate, the Messiah coming. And that's all he, 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 he was a devout man and God allowed him to see him. I wonder at that time, many other people saw Jesus, the infant Jesus, but do they see God? They may, all they see is a baby. Sometimes we, what we see and what we recognize is two different things. We may visually see, but we don't see. How do you know when you see someone that they are holy or perhaps in a person of integrity? Well, babies are naturally innocent. And, uh, but I mean a person. Oh. How do you know? By their action, don't you? Yeah. By their action. And ultimately, we we are judged by our action, by the decision, by the choices we make. And oftentimes, you know, it's very easy at times in our life, shocking though may be, we may not, we don't want to walk in darkness, 
but yet we in our spiritual life we walk in darkness when we reject God and choose to do things our way and ultimately God is calling us to walk with him because he is guiding us because when we walk in darkness we stumble and fall and you know, as my brothers and sisters, as we enter into a new year soon, I just invite you to open your minds and your heart to see God in your life. God is guiding us. Let us follow him. That in doing so, may we walk with him into his light of love and peace. Amen. Amen. Trusting in God's love and mercy, let us turn to him now for all our needs and all the needs of the world. For Pope Francis, for Alexander, our bishop, and all our priests, bishops, and deacons, may God's grace be upon us to help to lead and guide the people to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For each and every one of us, may we always follow Christ, that in everything we do may be pleasing to him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all the prayers that concern the words that lie deep within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all our brothers and sisters who have gone before us, trusting and believing God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving, compassionate Father, accept the prayers of your family gathered here. Help each and every one of us, Lord, to turn to you. That in doing so, when we experience your love and your mercy, we ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thomas 
poured out like Christ to glorify your name. Show forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit the cold air to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer to the sacrifice. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my mercy, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. After spiritual communion, Jesus, thank you for coming into our hearts. We welcome you and unite ourselves to you. Strengthen us in your love as we await the day when we are reunited at the Eucharistic table. Amen.
Let us pray. May the bless, blessed sacred mystery which you have partaken, O oh Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Thomas Beckett, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 If you have not received our wonderful, our tech pickup, our wonderful new calendar, or word among us for January, you're really missing out. I just strongly encourage you to come by the church to pick up your calendar and also uh, the word among us for January. It's outside the church. Also, remember, if you are not receiving our new formatted bulletin, you are in a very sad state. <laughs> because our wonderful, amazing bulletin is in a new, incredible format. You won't believe it until you see it. So I just invite you. It may be in your spam folder because we have put, um, it's from a different source now. Constant contact. It's in, it's in constant contact? It comes from constant contact. Constant contact. So be sure to check your spam folder and if you feel last week why something missing for your life and you're kind of depressed, that may be it. So I just want to check with you, make sure you check the spam folder to make your life feel complete. Make well, sure, more complete. Make sure to get the Christmas one especially. Yes, get the Christmas one. It's a beautiful <laughs> picture of a work of art. So I just want to invite you to be sure to go check it out. Also, remember for all our wonderful parishioners, you have offertory envelope boxes here at church. If you have not picked it up, you know you need what to do what you need to do. Yes, go come by the church to pick up your wonderful offertory envelopes. However, if you do not wish to receive that anymore, since you are high tech, you decide to go modern and you decide to give by online giving, let us know. We'll have to take back the box back the box. Also remember. Uh, if you'd like to make a mass intention, please email or snail mail your request to the office. And if you'd like an appointment for confession, please email me. My email address is on our webpage on the back of the bulletin. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, it's not in, yes, because we have a new format. It's not on the back of the bulletin. However, it's on our webpage. Oh, don't forget this Friday coming up. It's New Year. We Catholics celebrate New Year in a very wonderful way by honoring Mary, the God bearer. So I just invite you to welcome New Year in a very special, thankful way. So join us for online mass on Friday. And uh, on and Zoom. On, on, uh, on, yeah, on Friday. On Zoom on Thursday. Yes, and, and uh, I was also available on Zoom. On Thursday. On Thursday. So if you'd like to join us for the actual Mass here on Thursday, we still got spaces available. Join us at Mass at 4 o'clock. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wicked snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the souls. Amen. Our closing hymn is number eighty-one, Joy to the World. Please sing it out.
Thank you.